Hey guys, it's Andrew here with Cyber Review. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a USB wall plug. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what is a USB wall plug, you might ask? Well, it's simple really. All it does is it adds USB charging ports to your wall plug. There are many different designs and variations of these type of plugs, but most of them, like mine, feature two normal plugs, and in addition, add two USB charging ports. Now, these ports do support USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. All right, guys, let's go ahead and install this USB wall plug. Okay, before we start installing, we're gonna need some tools. First thing we're gonna need is a screwdriver. Second thing is some wire strippers or wire cutters. And the third thing is something to make sure the power is shut off to your outlet. Uh, you can either use an ohms meter or some other device to check that. And once you've gathered all your tools, you're ready to go. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is check and make sure your power's off. So here, my power's on. Make sure you go to your breaker box, shut it off, and there we go, the lights are off, and there's no power, so we are safe to work. So make sure you shut your power off. Don't do anything until you've done that. So, uh, first thing you wanna do after the power's off is take off your faceplate. After removing the faceplate, you wanna remove the screw above and below the outlet to remove it from the wall. After you've removed the screws, go ahead and pull the outlet out of the wall so you can gain access to the back side. Now what you're going to do is remove all five wires from the outlet. There should be two black, which are your positive, two white, which are your negative, and then one ground wire, which is usually either green or copper. So go ahead and remove all five of those. So some of the wires may have got damaged during the removal. If that's the case, just go ahead and cut them and restrip them so they fit in the new outlet. All right, guys, now that we've removed the old outlet, let's put in the new one. Now, as a general rule of thumb for the installation, there are two slots on the front of the outlets. One's large and one is small. The large one is for your white wires or your negative ones, and the small one is for your black wires or the positive ones. There will also be a green screw, and this is for your ground wire. Okay, now that you know what wires go where, go ahead and connect them to the appropriate screws and tighten them all up. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and push the outlet into the wall, and you may have to be forceful. Sometimes they like to be stubborn and don't like to go into the wall. Once you have the outlet in the wall, go ahead and tighten up the screw on the top and on the bottom of the outlet. Get it nice and snug against the wall. Go ahead and screw in your faceplate. And now we're cooking with gasoline. You have a nice new USB wall plug. Now that we've completed the installation, go ahead and turn your power back on and you're ready to go. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the installation of a USB wall plug. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Also, if you think you might want to pick one of these up, you can head over to Amazon. You can get them for right around $25. I'll leave a link right down below in the description for you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye was what they're calling their next generation MacBook Pro with the Retina display. Uh, now Apple's going to be adding this MacBook Pro to its current lineup. Uh, they're only adding one. It comes in at 15.4 inches and is 0.71 inches thin. It's very thin. 